What's up guys? I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. In this video, I want to show you how to prepare a sweet and sour pork ribs. My interpretation of a popular recipe, which is called pork rib king or Kyoto pork ribs. It is a popular Chinese dish in the restaurant in Singapore and Malaysia. And it is marinated, deep fried, doused in a sweet and sour sauce. It is crispy on the outside and the taste is heavenly. And indeed, it is worthy for that title as King of the Pork Ribs. So let's get started. Let's start the preparation by marinating the pork ribs. It is best to prepare the pork ribs a day before, uh, preferably overnight, so that it will let the marinade penetrate deep down to the bone. You can use pork loin as an alternative if you do not want to use pork ribs. If you do so, you can use the meat mallet or the spine of the cleaver to pound the pork loin to tenderize the pork loin. And if you don't want to use pork at all, it also goes well with chicken. The marinade is a different set of ingredients than the sauce. It consists of oyster sauce, salt, sugar, sesame oil, ground white pepper. And these are the essential ingredients to marinate the meat. And it is commonly used in most of the Chinese cooking. Besides that, I also include some baking soda, which helps to tenderize the meat. And a tablespoon of all-purpose flour, that is to bind the liquid seasoning to the pork ribs. Massage the marinade into the pork ribs. Then refrigerate it overnight. The next step is to make the sauce that we use to coat the deep fried pork ribs. I have a separate video on how to make this sauce and I've included a link in the description below the video. Over here, I'll quickly go through how to prepare it. What you need is to get some Chinese vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, tomato ketchup, plum sauce, sugar, the Chinese five spice powder, and some water. Bring all these ingredients to a boil to dissolve the sugar. That is the sweet and sour sauce that we use to coat the pork ribs. I've also included this simple recipe in the description down below the video. The next day, remove the marinated pork from the refrigerator and wait until it is back to room temperature. This is to avoid the meat of the pork rib from not being fully cooked when the exterior has turned golden if you deep fry the pork straight away. Before you deep fry the pork ribs in the oil, you have to coat the pork ribs with some cornstarch. Now if you don't have cornstarch, you can use potato starch or tapioca starch. It is equally good. Once you have coated all the pork ribs with the cornstarch, shake off the excess and then let it rest for at least 5 minutes before you deep fry. Let the marinade and the liquid from the pork ribs to absorb the cornstarch so that the cornstarch will adhere firmly to the pork ribs. By doing so, you will prevent the cornstarch from falling off from the pork ribs during deep frying. Now we can start to deep fry the pork ribs and we are going to deep fry it twice. First, heat about half an inch deep of vegetable oil in a pan. The temperature should reach about 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. You can check it with a kitchen thermometer or dip a pair of wooden chopsticks into the oil. Now what's going to happen is the oil's temperature is right when there are streams of bubbles rising slowly around the chopsticks. 
Place the coated pork ribs into the oil gently. Do not crowd the pork ribs to let them have sufficient space in between as they may stick together if it is too crowded. Let the pork ribs undisturbed for 3 minutes. Then flip over to deep fry the other side. Pay attention to the color of the surface and remove them once they turn light golden. Then, drain the pork ribs in a colander. Now, we raise the temperature of the oil to about 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. There will be a streams of bubbles rising vigorously this time around the chopsticks at this temperature. Return the pork rib to the oil to deep fry for the second time. The second round of deep frying will rapidly dry up the pork ribs exterior to form a crispy texture that lasts. Since the color changes quickly at high temperature, you need to observe the color to avoid being overcooked. Once they turn golden brown, remove them immediately and drain them in a colander. Right before you serve, simply douse the deep fried pork ribs with the heated sweet and sour sauce. I like to add a tablespoon of Shaoxing wine that provide more flavor and aroma to the final results. What you need is just to mix the pork ribs with the sauce and there's no need to add any additional cornstarch slurry at this moment. Dish out and serve. The pork ribs are best to serve it immediately after cooking while it is still crispy on the exterior. However, it is still incredibly delicious after half an hour due to the deep savory flavor. That's how to make pork rib king with sweet and sour sauce. If you want the recipe, I've included it in the description down below the video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, and give me a like. I'll see you again in some other similar videos on this channel, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.